The Milwaukee Brewers, handcuffed by the Minnesota Twins yesterday. Je- uh, Ryan Jeffers hit a tie-breaking bomb in the uh, five-run seventh inning, earned the Twinkies a seven-to-three victory on Wednesday afternoon. Allen, um, Alex, I'm sorry, Alex uh, Kirloff went four for four for Minnesota. Jeffers closed his day with four RBI in the win. The home run by Jeffers, though, a um, little concerning. Not, not so much. It's still early, right? One week into the season. But it's the first home run by the Twins uh, stick since the season opener. The Twins host the Guardians, a team who flew in from Seattle last night after a whitewashing of, uh, of the Mariners, 8 to nothing. It was their second straight win over the Mariners, which gave them a 2-1 to one series uh, win and stretched their mark to 5-2 and two on the season. Very impressive by this Cleveland team, who I think will challenge Minnesota um, for the division title. Now, the Guardians hand the ball to a young right-hander, Tanner Beebe, who opened Saturday for his team against the A's in the Coliseum and pitched four innings, allowed three runs, six hits, struck out four, but he walked five. Walked five, cost 88 pitches. Beebe was a proud owner um, of a 2.98 ERA a year ago, his rookie campaign. And that may be aesthetically pleasing. It's a surface number of the ERA. Um, his underlying peripheral suggests that he's got some regression coming and that last year was, it was fortuitous when it comes to earn run average. Now, why? Because he has command issues. And 25 rookie starts, guys, ladies and gentlemen, he walks, he, in six of those starts, 20, six of those 25, he walked four or more batters. Make that seven in his last 26 starts because he walked five of the A's on Saturday. Minnesota still won, stretched their mark. Um, but BB, <coughs> pardon me, um, is inconsistent, was last year. I gave you the evidence why he's inconsistent. Young pitcher, early on, cold weather, still doesn't have the feel for the ball and his release points. It's an issue. It's an issue. We don't know who the home plate umpire is quite yet, but we will. And when we do, that's when I can make, I can make my move and be aggressive or, or back off one of the two. You're going to have to pay attention. You can get that information by checking several different locations, several different URLs and websites to provide that help for you. Um, you learn something probably right there alone. Stopping by this Wager Talk Studios to get a, a game shorty, a game preview shorty. Lopez Trustworthy. Starts for, starts for Minnesota. Pitched two postseason games last year with a twin team that came into that postseason with 18 straight postseason losses. 8-11, and 11, or 11-8 and eight last year, Lopez was. 3-6-6 ERA. He was better than the 3-6-6. Underlying peripherals, 2-9-8 X ERA, expected ERA. 3-3-3, 3.33 3.28 3.28 XFIP. Over the top, good stuff. The fact that, that he's better than the 3-6-6 surface ERA, um, tells you a lot about this 28-year-old right-hander, all-star right-hander, battle-tested, not likely to melt, not faint of wits, not, not Lopez. BB has a slash line uh, versus the Twins, 278 batting average against, 316 on base percentage, and a 389 uh, slugging, which isn't horrible, right? OPS is 705, a small sample size versus this Minnesota lineup last year, one start a season ago. Lopez's numbers against the current Cleveland lineup or potential lineup against the bats that, that are, could possibly be in the lineup, very, very strong. 45 official plate appearances, 17 strikeouts against five walks, only two extra base hits. This organization is set up perfectly for Lopez and a win on opening day against the Guardians. Weather's going to be satisfactory compared to last year when they had to cancel it. The weather's 45 to 50 degrees, which is more than satisfactory, more than acceptable for Minnesotians and what they're used to. Considering Tuesday, the field was full of snow and they had 40 mile an hour gusts of wind. You don't like the weather in the Midwest? Wait 15 minutes. It'll change. I trust Lopez. Settle in. Be involved in this target field season opener. I don't trust BB, uh, especially if there happens to be a hitter-friendly umpire. It's a death sentence for him and the Cleveland Indians. Play. Minnesota, Lopez, minus the buck 50. I think it's a, not, it's a fair price. I think it has value. The, the total of 7.5, I would lean to the over. I would feel much more comfortable if I knew who the home player probably was and what his tendencies or trends were. I'm Tony Finn. I cannot tell you how damn glad I am you dropped by to share this Thursday morning with me and the Wager Talk media team. Let's do it again tomorrow. What do you say? I'll be here.